Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Bishop Boy bringing you guys a brand new video and. I'm finally going to show you guys my signature styles as you can tell by the title and I really haven't showed you guys because I wasn't sure what fit best for me and my play style but I finally got it so you guys are going to see that in this video as I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for it but I'll also update you guys on my badges and attributes because it has changed since the games came out but yeah without wasting more time let's get right into it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this but I have my custom jumper on which is base jump shot 65 release 91 and for the second release release 126 and the speed i have it on is full and the blending is 82 18 i put it up on the screen just in case you guys can get that but yeah honestly i think my Gwang patched my jumper because ever since the latest patch i have not got as many greens and probably honestly like two out of all the games I played and I don't play a lot but still I'm not greening at all and if you guys saw Sol Luminati's video he even said that they might have patched custom jump shots because that's just how they are but yeah I might have to change it up so if you guys have this jump shot let me know in the comments if it's not as wet as it used to be but yeah regardless that's the jump shot I'm using right now free throws number one dribble pull up normal 13 I don't really use pull ups but when I do it's usually on the line sometimes green but honestly even though I'm a shot creator I still get more greens, or at least I used to, when I catch and shoot, which is pretty stupid, but that's how I was last year too. Spin jumper, Lance Stevenson, don't use that. Hop jumper, Lance, don't use it either, but post fade, MJ, hook one, post hop shot one, shimmy 12, hook two, don't use these at all. So moving on to the dribble moves, my crossover is pro six. That one's pretty good. I really don't use it that much, but when I do, it's effective. That one's pretty good, but Behind the back, Pro 5, that one's the one that I get people a lot with, especially on fast breaks. Spin Pro 4, that's the view of spin that I use. You just step back, spin, hesitation Pro 1, rhythm dribble, Iverson, I use that a lot just to set them up, but Pro 4, size of package, Harden, hesitation combo, crossover combo, AI, between the leg combo, AI, and Jamal Crawford. So what I do a lot is if you guys haven't noticed, I use the rhythm dribble, which is just flicking up on the analog without turbo. And then right after he does like that move right there, the big little carry, I do behind the back, Jamal Crawford, and then just drop to the rack and that's usually always open. So I'm sure almost every one of my subscribers knows this, or at least all the slashers, but you don't put on any dunk packages except flushes. That's the only exception, but nothing else. And when I say this, it's because you're only supposed to put contact dunks so that you activate it more and you get it more frequently compared to if you had like a let's say rim grazer or basic hands off two you'd get that animation instead of a contact one so that's not what you want you only want contact dunk packages and my layup is explosive that one's pretty good i still miss a few layups that i should be making but it's because that hidden layup bar that they put but yeah only equip standing dunks if anything but also no dunk packages that are from the park those are the, probably the worst ones but alley oops one and two that doesn't matter but contact down packages one two and three if you can and i can't get four because i'm not a big man but yeah if you're a big man four so my signature style is out the way let's move on to my attributes my layup is all the way max as possible which is a 90 standing layup 80 driving layup and shot close 90 and I still smoke a few layups, but it's because of that layup bar again. You have to time your layup stuff, you guys didn't know that. Dunks maxed, and that leads me with the standing dunk of a 64, driving dunk 83, and contact dunk 83, which allows me to get contact dunk packages. Mid range maxed all the way, can't get that any higher. But that's a contested shot made of 91, open shot mid 88, moving shot 86, and three point. Max as possible, but I can upgrade it still over time. But that's a contested shot of 75, open shot 73, moving shot 74, ball handling 82, and speed with ball 76. And I'm pretty sure after I get these three last upgrades, I should be able to speed boost according to 2K. But honestly, I don't even need speed boosting. But when I do get it, it's over. 
passing, 70-70. Post offense, I can upgrade that, but it doesn't really matter. 70s all around. Rebounding, 70s all around. I can upgrade that twice over time. Steals, I can upgrade that four times, but it's at 71 right now. Blocks, 65, 70. Vertical, I can upgrade that four times right now. I just don't have enough to see. But as of now, it's a 76. Lateral quickness, 71, but I'm pretty sure even if it was maxed out all the way 99, I still couldn't play defense. Speed, 84. Could get it to 87. I'm trying to run. <laughs> Acceleration, 83. Could go to 86. Just don't have enough EC. Strength. I really don't know if strength affects your dunking this year, but that's why I upgraded just in case. And stamina all the way, which is a 98. Lastly, moving on to badges. I got teardropper bronze. I think this can go, yeah, I can go to Hall of Fame. I really don't do floaters a lot this year. Tireless to score bronze. I can get that to gold. Difficult shots bronze. I can get it to gold too. Mid range dead eye bronze, but I can get it to gold. Anchor breaker maxed out at gold. Moving on to secondary badges. To answer your guys' question, it only maxes out at silver for my position. So I was kind of disappointed about that, but it's whatever. I'm still getting dunks. Um, relentless finisher that could go to gold that's gonna be pretty OP but it's at silver right now free throw a silver dimer oh I wish that went higher but bronze uh defense stopper bronze pick and roll maestro bronze corner specialist that one's pretty clutch bronze lob city finisher is on still broken one mana fast break bronze could go to silver quick reflex could go to silver acrobat that one's pretty good once it's upgraded could go to silver, blue hand, silver, put back king. I think that can go to bronze only, but I'm about to get that one that helps you with put back dunks as well as offensive boards and post spin technician. Haven't got it, but bronze. Um, these pretty useless. I guess lobster passer that one's pretty good. Up and under specialist that one's nah, charge card nah, oh, flashy passer nope, and then these badges my is probably the only good one out of them all but yeah guys that's basically it for this video if i do end up changing my stuff i will update you guys with another video like this but this was mainly for those that made my exact same player or were just curious to know what i used for my signature styles but if this video helped you out please drop a like and let me know if you guys are going to try my styles out and also let me know if you guys get more posters than before because that's honestly what i want out of this is to help you guys out but yeah if you guys are new to the channel please drop a sub i highly appreciate it and turn on post notifications as well if you haven't already but yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one